I'm Tina Teneriello in the west end of downtown Montreal. And as you first saw in our City News exclusive, the hotel behind me is operating as a crack house. But today, some social workers say we need to turn a blind eye to it. We know for a fact that when we close down a place where people use drugs, we expect that there will be overdoses and that people will die after as a result of closing down those places. We are in the midst of a, of a opioid uh, uh, epidemic and there's fentanyl found in all kinds of drugs. We want people to be using with other people, not in isolation. They say given the lack of resources, there are no safer alternatives. Where is she supposed to go? to be safe if she has a drug issue. So more harm reduction services, more access to shelters. This is really where if we put our focus on that instead of like criminalization, then we would see less need for people to go to crack houses. It's not a matter of safety, more a matter of relative safety. So as opposed to what alternatives? And yes, so stuff like uh, supervised inhalation sites and supervised injection sites would be excellent alternatives. But if their alternative is to go out onto the street, then no, they're not safe. According to Health Canada, there is one safe inhalation site in Canada set to open in Lethbridge, Alberta next year. We force people to hide their drug use. In that, this is how crack houses like get business, right? This is really, at the end of the day, bad government policies. They say sex work out of crack houses is also a safer option because the women aren't alone. Well, if we don't have a place like that, we might just go in the client's car in an alley somewhere, uh, and that puts us in a, lot more, uh, in a lot more danger. The Montreal police says complaints from citizens come within hours of a crack house opening, and there are more crimes around these places. But that hasn't been the case with the new safe injection sites in Hochelaga Maisonneuve, a Montreal area known for its drug use. On a fait une analyse au niveau de la criminalité. He says they looked at crime rates in the areas surrounding safe injection sites and there were no increases after they opened. You have to give the people a place to come where they're safe. Everybody wants to be safe. I'll tell you anything to get your money, come to my house, you're safe. But at the same time, you come to my house, I'm taking full advantage of your money and I'm going to take full advantage of you as well. And that's it. When your money's out and I'm finished my pleasure, <laughs> out you go. For City News in Montreal, I'm Tina Teneriello.